we have a Porsche 981. This one is a base model and I've rented it from Turo. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, like I just mentioned, we've rented another car from Turo. This is a Porsche Boxster base model 981. I'm gonna give my first impression like I always do. Let's go for a drive. All right, so like all Porsches, the key is on the left side. We'll go ahead, give that a whirl. I think first thing we should do is probably open the top. I believe with this one, just like the 718 that I rented, you don't have to unclick anything and you just... Yeah, well, you gotta hold it down. Get this nice let's get these windows back up and that should be it we should be able to go now this one is again like i said the the base model and it's am i in drive yeah okay all right a little sticky there and Let's right off the bat, let's put it in sport mode. Oh, it does sound a little bit. That's what I like about these newer model boxers right now. This is the third generation. So the one I own is a 987, which is the second generation. This one's a 981, which is the third generation. So I've noticed that I've never tried the 986, which is the original, but the uh, 981, which is this one, and the 718, which is the newest. When you turn on sports mode, uh, that exhaust tone gets a little bit deeper uh, than, than when it's off. Whereas with my 987, putting it in sports mode, you do feel a difference when you're driving. You don't hear a difference when you press it. Uh, it's something that uh, for me, right off the bat with this one, since this is the first impression for this car, I already like. That to me is a plus. Any car, when you turn it on sports mode, I don't just want a performance. I want to hear the difference as well, and I want to hear it right off the bat. So this one does have a slight deeper tone. And even though it's a base model, it's not the S, even though it's the starting point for the Boxster, it still has that so i think it's awesome because hey the uh, when it comes down to it porsche makes sports cars every version of that model should have some sportiness to it right off the bat one thing and i don't want to compare too much to the 987 now because i will be doing a comparison video to the 987 that i own but right off the bat this one not only does it feel familiar because it is a Porsche Boxster and like I've always said it's about evolution versus revolution when it comes to uh, Porsches in general you won't see huge differences so it feels familiar because it's only one model up from the newest uh, version uh, it's right in between the, the the current model and the one I own uh, but also besides it feeling familiar it also feels a hell of a lot uh, modern and new the feeling it gives it's a very uh, a comfortable and sporty ride and I like that I like when a car feels not only stiff like a sports car but also comfortable like a luxury car I think right off the bat I feel like this car is balanced oh and something I was I was trying to get to in the beginning is that uh, to be clear about which exact model I'm driving yeah, not only is it the base model but it also is, well, that sounds nice, but it also is uh, equipped with the PDK. This is not a stick shift. Now, if you guys follow the channel, you know me, I am big on stick shift. My Abarth is stick shift. My wife's Fiat 500 is stick shift. And my 987 is stick shift. Uh, although I've said it in the video, which I'll link down below, on my first impression of the 718 that if I were to get an automatic for some reason or another like if there was a choice between stick shift and automatic because I know some cars especially a lot of supercars nowadays uh, you only have an option of an automatic 
but if I had to choose where I do have the choice, I would go with PDK. PDK is uh, by far one of the most reliable, one of the best shifting transmissions you can get. And definitely, I'm gonna take it up to the twisties right now here on my favorite road. And I'll be able to get some more of those downshifts. I'll be able to use that uh, the paddle shifters that it comes with and give you guys, I'm sure it's, it's not gonna be too different from the feeling of the 718, uh, the PDK and the feel of the car. Oh, something else I should note about this car. And it's that the rims are, uh, the rims and tires are not the stock rims and tires. But I must say, even with that, the car, the drive still feels very much stock. Now this one, they got uh, 20 inch rims on it. So, so far, the few minutes that I've driven with it, to get to this spot have not felt uh, off it feels uh, right on it feels like it's dialed in just right so this should give me a true feel for what it would be like uh, with stock rims and just uh, set up stock okay so now coming up on where the twisties begin I'm gonna go ahead and put it in manual mode We're currently in second gear Now we're gonna do some upshifts. Now we go. Oh. Now the bicyclist here, so I'll go over downshift. Oh, that downshift. All right, here we go. Oh yeah. Oh. Shift. Oh, I can imagine the S model of this has got to be even better than this. Of course, it's even better, but this is just handles so good. Complete confidence in these turns. Oh, such a joy to drive. Now the upship upships are nothing crazy, but these downshifts. And again, this is the base model, so oh man. That PDK, man, I'm telling you. There we go. I could see, and I, I wonder if I, I can't remember if I said this about the, oh, there's a Ranger. I can't remember if I, I said this about the, the 718 or not, but I totally understand why someone would want PDK versus stick shift. Now, again, from, it's not for me, but I, I could understand why someone would want PDK because when I was in those twisties and I, I was able to keep both hands on the steering wheel in the right position with the paddle shifters placed perfectly on this car. Going through those roads, doing the downshifts, going on, on the upshifts is just so convenient. And this, this PDK, like, I mean, you saw I was smiling, laughing, having a good time with it, even though it's not a stick shift. And I love stick shift. So I, I get it. I understand uh, uh, where someone would want this. So I got to say, now comparing, just thinking about 
the three models that I've driven, which is the one I own, the 987, this one, the 981, and then the newest version, which is the 718. Now, the 718 I, I rented was an S. My 987 is an S. This one is the base model. Now, I gotta say, if you, if let's say uh, the budget can pay for any three of those models, I gotta say, this is probably the most bang for your buck. And again, I said, even though, even though let's say your budget would allow for any one of these. Now the reason why, and this is again, just from off my first impression, this is not off of like spending a little bit more time with this car. Uh, but the reason why I say that is because they feel pretty similar the the two newer ones the 981 and the 718 as far as driving experience feels pretty much the same the sound is different and if you don't know the biggest reason why the different uh, there's a that difference in in uh, sound is because the 718 is the first year where they've gone down and a lot of companies are doing this they've gone down to four cylinders now they've gone with the turbo to give that extra power, but still keep the miles per gallon at a decent um, amount. But this one right here, you still have the naturally aspirated six cylinder, the flat six. Oh, I forgot I was, <laughs> forgot I was still in manual mode. Let me, let me go into auto. Uh, so yeah, so you're, 718 is going to sound a little bit similar to like a Subaru whereas your 981 is going to sound like a traditional Porsche uh, flat 6 or a boxer I should boxer 6 engine so that's so to kind of get to the, the point I'm trying to make is that you're going to you're, with the 981, you're going to have a feel of a new car, of a 718. You're going to have the, the nice, smooth, tight, sporty feel of a 718. But you're going to have the Boxer 6 naturally aspirated engine that you would on the older models. So, it's the best of both worlds, in my opinion. Now you can come up with very specific reasons to get one or the other. Now, if obviously, if budget is a reason, I'm not gonna discourage you from getting a 987 and saying, just save your money and, and until you can buy a 981. No, I'm gonna say, go ahead and get a 987. I own one and I'm very happy with it. I think they're a great value as well. So that'd be a reason why you go down to a 987. Now, if you're like, Hey, you know, I, I like the 718, the way it looks, because they, they, they have made some, uh, uh, like they always do, like Evolution, right? They've made some cosmetic updates to the 7, or to the Boxster, and the 718 definitely has a different look to it, especially uh, in the trunk, in the rear, you get like this Porsche sign that faces uh, backwards, which I think it's awesome as opposed to being right on the trunk where no one sees it. I think it's actually a, a pretty good looking car. But if none of those things matter, if you're just saying like, hey, look, all of them to me look similar. Uh, I just want the one that makes the most sense as far as like the drivability, the way it drives, the way it handles, the way it feels. I gotta say for my first impression, this is the one to have for sure uh, now I, I've yet to try this in a stick shift but I would imagine that it, I mean it's a Porsche of course it's gonna feel good and if you're like me you like that traditional manual transmission I think you're gonna be very happy with this car yeah other than that you know I don't have much else to say about the car you know as far as uh, my first impression of it so be sure to uh, look out for my my next video, which will be a review of the 
Porsche 981 and just give you a tour. It's more like a tour. I'll give you a tour of the vehicle and I'm, I'm sure you've probably seen it in other people's uh, videos, but hopefully I can bring something else to to you, uh, especially about uh, this one specific because there are a couple things in this car specifically that the owner has added on that might get you to think like, maybe I should do that if I get this car and or maybe not. <laughs> so look out for that tour of this specific car coming up and then uh, I will also do a comparison of this versus the 987. I also still have footage of the 718 so I might make a little mix video where I compare this to the 718 as well. I should be able to do that no problem. I'll just do some some voice overlays with it and uh, you can compare the sounds, the sights, I should have that sounds backwards sights and sounds of this the 987 the 718 and yeah if you like the video please go ahead and give that a thumbs up if you're into this type of content please consider subscribing and sharing with anyone that might like this type of videos uh, i try to put out videos every week at least once a week sometimes especially lately i've been doing it two three times a week i go out with my cars i go out with my motorcycle i rent cars do reviews do tours go ahead leave a comment let me know what you think let me know if you own the 981 the 987 or the 718 maybe all of them and give me your thoughts on this car uh, but yeah thanks again for watching i'll talk to y'all later